Oh, and just like that, Pearl Harbor attack from Ashley Hudson. Wait a minute, Australia door. wasn't even involved in World War II. What are you talking about, a Pearl well, Harbor you know, attack? you got to get up pretty early in the morning to get past you, Jim Cornette. Chris Harris, the Wildcat, the North American champion, getting waylaid by Ashley Hudson. This is the first rematch since Chris Harris upset Ashley Hudson a couple of weeks ago for that very North American championship. Well, and now Chris Harris is finding out what it's like to get on the bad side of Ashley Hudson. You see the tights? You see the tights, those boxing kangaroos? Yeah. They even, they're animals fighting Australia. You can imagine how mean and nasty the humans are. They smell the same. I'll give them that. Oh, come on. Ashley Hudson. Former, former North American champion, the Wildcat, Chris Harris. Oh, whoa. Caught one right in the bread basket from Ashley. Well, Ashley Hudson, determined to take that North American Heavyweight Championship back from this wild kitty, Chris Harris. Wild and Harris, cat. you know, he's got all these women here in Nashville. He's got them all hanging over him because he's got long hair and a nice body. He looks like some kind of rock and roll star. But Ashley Hudson's a man. He's a fighter. He's a man who'll get down and get his hands dirty and dig and scratch and gouge and bleed a little bit to win a championship. He's not a pretty boy that's afraid to, to mix it up like Chris Harris. But you know what he's... What I see, as a matter of fact, I see a Hello? blonde woman in the back row in that white shirt. She loves Chris Harris, I know, but she, by the time this match is over with, she's going to love Ashley Hudson. You know what else Ashley Hudson isn't? He's not a pretty boy. He's also not the North American champion. Not anymore, not since Chris Harris put his shoulders to the canvas. One, two, three. But you can see how vicious Ashley Hudson is against Chris Harris here. He wants his title back, and he wants to hurt Chris Harris on the way. Hudson now hooking his man up. He's going for that vertical suplex, and he's going to take him up, oh, and he's going to put him down. Look at this beautiful form, excellent execution. Hangs him up there, the blood rushing to the head of Chris oh. Harris. He's disoriented, and a concussive effect down to the mat. Now Ashley Hudson is wasting time. Oh, Perfect. Vertical suplex on the Wildcat, Chris Harris, but Hudson did not follow through, did not follow up. He's toying. Look at that. He's lulling the man into a false sense of security. Wait a minute, Harris trying to use a closed fist to get an advantage. You know Nashville no, has wrong. a... He's not trying to. He is using well, a closed fist. Nashville has a long history of, of guys from Australia coming in and dominating the scene. Remember Bill Superstar Dundee? Of course. Ashley Hudson even bigger and even better than Dundee ever thought of being. Two missed clotheslines. Up top, that one connected. The North American champion takes down Ashley Hudson. Sets him up, shoots Hudson across, waits on him, telegraphed it down too early. Hudson, boot right in the beak of Chris Harris. Oh, wait a minute! Oh, oh, boy! Oh, good Lord! He's down, and down hard. And that's going to be a judgment call on the part of the referee over the top rope of disqualification in USA Championship Wrestling. But evidently, he's protecting the hometown boy. He's saying Harris didn't mean to do it. It was Hudson's momentum. Harris just ducked. I think that's balderdash. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to mention the word bald, Hudson. I know how touchy you are about that. Is my mic on? Hello? <laughs> Ashley Hudson outside. It wouldn't he be hit, if I had wire cutters. He hit hard on the concrete floor here at the Mecca, the fairgrounds in Nashville. The North American Championship on the line. Now Hudson, you see? Hudson's the man to get right back up in, in Harris's face and show him what he thinks of it. Wait a minute. He's about to make the Wildcat mad. Here we go. Oh, and what's going to happen if you make a Wildcat mad? Is he going to scratch his eyes out? Huh? No, he'll, he'll just pin him like he did oh, last time. He slapped a taste out of his mouth. That's exactly what he did. And these two guys, it's getting oh, personal. Oh, no, look at that. It's not even about the title anymore. It's personal. Oh, the pride of Australia. Ashley Hudson wearing his Australian battle flag tight. Oh, right into the back. There you go, Hudson. He ran him around the ring till he was ready to turn into butter, and then he lowered the boom on him. Ringing in the ears, courtesy of Ashley Hudson and the North American champion. Tied up over the middle rope. And now Chris Harris has to be thinking, why? Why did I do this? Why did I, did I tick Ashley Hudson look at, off? Look at Hudson. What is he doing? Well, he, he's adjusting his equipment. I beg your pardon? He's got a bad wrist. It's taped for support, and obviously part of the tape was coming off. And so now why is he choking the life out of the North American champion? He's with... got a reverse chin lock on the North American champion. It's not reversed. It's taped. I didn't see that. Please. 
Did you see that? I didn't see that. Of course I saw it. Chris Harris had the life choked out of him what? by Ashley Hudson. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter if you saw it. It just matters if the oh. referee saw it. And the referee didn't see it. Basement drop kick. Out Basement goes Chris drop Harris. kick? Where'd you get that from? It was Tony Schiavone. Oh, well, Lord knows. Let's not question the dean of wrestling announcers, Tony Schiavone. How, by the way, how are those five Hell at the Moon kids of his, huh? Into the ring apron goes the face of Chris Wildcat Harris. Ashley Hudson, oh, boot right into the midsection. And now this is where Hudson gets dangerous. Well, this is where that? Hudson shows that he can be deadly. The veteran maneuver, Hudson rolling in to break up the 10 count of the official. And yep. once again with the tape right across the throat of the North American champion. Well, you know, actually, I did see that. How however, however, if Hudson wants to take a shortcut to combat the repeated rules offenses, the repeated rule breaking, what? the repeated infractions that uh, Wildcat Chris Harris has been perpetrating, then I say more power to him. Are you watching the same match? Unfortunately, as you, yes. Ashley Hudson may very well walk out of the Mecca with the North American Championship here in Nashville. And the best part about that is he gets to walk out of this building. Oh, please, come on. Yeah. Show Matter a fact, little respect for the tradition. I'm trying, I'm trying to show as little respect oh. as I can. Look at that. Full body slam right on a the concrete. There's none of those pretty pads here in the USA Championship wrestling area. It's pure hard concrete. He's wasting time. Chris Harris is all but out on the arena floor. Hudson, this may be the coup de grace from the apron. Well, now, wait a minute, Hudson, he's measuring his man. Oh, clothesline, clothesline. with tape. Come on. Wait a minute. I saw a clothesline. I didn't see that again. You didn't see the Didn't what? see it. Can we get some Windex over what? here? Apparently, your monitor is fogged up. Well, the problem is that breath. That breath here, you know you could cut that breath with a knife. Oh, you mean my breath. Good heaven. Yeah, your breath. Chris Harris, North American Championship, slowly falling from his grasp. Ashley Hudson will only be a former champion for a couple of weeks if he can garner the title here. I'm worried about Hudson. Oh, wait Why? a minute, lateral press there. Hooks, Hooks the Hudson. leg, is it over? No, oh. Harris kicked out at two. I'm worried about Hudson because his tape on his wrist, his bad wrist is coming loose. I'm afraid it won't give him full support. Somebody needs to go in there and either cut it off or wind it back up before Take Hudson gets hurt. We'll go in there and do it. Hold on a second, I'll be right back. Great. Oh, oh wait a minute. Sit down. Then all the TV sets would click off because you'd be talking by yourself. I better stay here. Harris shoots Hudson across into the ropes. Big bow! Body drop right on the wrist, as it were. Now, into the mount, reining in the left hands, the southpaw, opening up on Ashley Hudson, the pride of Perth, Australia. And Perth has a lot of pride. Really? Yeah. So I've been no. there several times. Reversal. The walkabout Stu is excellent. Stu who? Oh, yes, wait a minute. Power, power slam from Ashley Hudson, right in the center of the ring. That had authority. Well, Harris now, writhing in pain. He is down, he is gasping for oxygen. Trying to remember why that he thought that he could challenge Ashley Hudson. There we go, vertical lateral press. press. That's a vertical press with his foot on the rope, but it the was, referee missed it. Actually, if you want to be perfectly technically correct, it was a horizontal press. How can you, oh! Drop the knee right across the chest. Harris, once again, an athlete's gasoline is oxygen. And when you take that oxygen away, then pretty soon that athlete cannot regain his composure. And that's what Hudson's trying to do. He's hitting him in the throat. He's hitting him in the chest. He's hitting him in the stomach. Harris can't breathe, and Hudson is still standing tall. Ashley Hudson is wasting time is what he's doing. He should not be standing. He should be lying laterally across the prone form of Chris Harris and becoming North American champion. Well, Hudson, ah, now, there you go. Finally. But Harris kicked out at two, and that may have been a golden opportunity missed for Ashley Hudson. Oh, now, don't second-guess the professionals. For heaven's sake, when, when's the last time you won a wrestling match, Hudson? Huh? What With your four-year-old nephew? What, what on earth? What did he... Hey, as a matter of fact, are you trying... Is, is Hudson, if that is your real name, are you trying to be second. related to Ashley Hudson? No, he missed it. Missed Hudson. what? That was an open hand. Are he you didn't, kidding me? He doesn't have anything in that hand. Or some kind of hunk of metal in his hand. But, oh, Whoa. man. Did you hear that? Just I, tattooed it. I heard the smack of the knuckles in the flesh. Look at, look, look at what Ashley Hudson's doing. He's adjusting his equipment. I don't think he is. Well, his equipment got adjusted. Lateral press. There you go. Like this. No. Oh. 
Harris somehow kicked out. What's it going to take to put this kid away? Well, Harris may have a... Well, wasn't a loaded fist from Ashley Hudson. Well, Harris may have a few more guts than I gave him credit for, but... Hudson's got him well under control. Snapmare takeover back into the rear chinlock now by Ashley Hudson. Former North American champion Ashley Hudson trying to regain that title from the Wildcat, Chris Harris. Well, the folks here, they like Harris. They don't like Hudson. But you know what? It doesn't matter what the people think. Because it's Hudson's in there, one-on-one, -on -one, man on man with Harris. And whether these people like it or not, Hudson is going to do what he thinks best to win that North American Championship. I think Harris is going out. I think he's gone. But oh, wait a minute. That may have done it. The referee may have called the match, but Harris sensing that, fighting back. Look at the heart of Chris Harris. The Wildcat fighting back up, wanting to hang on to the North American Championship. Hudson in the rough, big shoulder block. Down goes the champion. Step over, crossover by Hudson. Got wow. the Thez press into the mount. The southpaw raining him in on Hudson. I don't see how Harris has got this left in him at this point. Oh, did he stagger him with that left hand. Hudson, cross corner to corner, hits those buckles hard. Harris trying to work on Hudson's back. Sets him, oh, face jam. Into the canvas, two, and no. Did not hook the leg, trying to be a pretty boy. How is not hooking the leg being a pretty boy? Oh, he's trying to be a hot shot. He's, you know, he's got his eye on some ugly girl in the fourth row, trying to ask her out for a date later. Oh. But Hudson with the clubbing forearm on the upper back of the Wildcat, Chris Harris. North American wow. Championship on the line here. Both of these men have held that title. Chris Harris holds it right now. That tells me it was a good kick. Whoa, that one missed the mark. Hudson tried that leg drop over the top. Nobody home. Harris, has he got a second lease on life? But what's he trying to do now? Trying to split the wicket. No, He's sets him up. Would you stop with that wicked stuff? Is he going for that sharpshooter? It might be. Oh, no. <laughs> Sledged in perfectly. Hudson's got to get to the ropes or this thing's going to be over with. Harris has him positioned almost perfectly. He's a little too close to the left side of the ring. But watch Hudson. He can't make it. He can't get him. If Harris stays with it, he'll retain the title. But Hudson made the ropes. Good effort by Ashley Hudson. Well, see there, you once again, the, the intestinal fortitude and resiliency of Ashley Hudson. He got to that. Look, and look at how slow Harris was in breaking that hole. He's trying to get that last little bit of of pain, the last little bit of punishment, trying to injure Hudson, even when the referee was telling him to break the hole. Just like the Midnight Express used to do. Well, not that there's anything wrong with that, but Thank there you. is when Harris does it. Of course there is. <laughs> Ashley Hudson all but out in the center of the ring. This one, what a contest. What a monumental contest for the North American Championship. Harris into the rope. Oh. This is the elbow. Hudson out of the way at the last possible moment. Well, this has been a seesaw battle back and forth. And Harris now, Hudson standing up. Hudson back to his feet what in the corner. Harris again? turning. What? Whoa! The boomerang missed it. Oh! Spear! With the spear! Ashley Hudson notorious for using that boomerang. Well, they always come back. I didn't say he threw it at him. He it. can't get rid of it. The spear. He tried to throw it away. It came back to him. Leveled Ashley Hudson. Chris Harris goes up top. Hudson all but out. Is it over? North American Championship at stake here. No! Well, that boomerang's still in the ring. Like I said, they always come back. But Hudson now, he's got the opportunity to finish this thing off. Oh, wait a minute. Throwing Harris to the floor. He's got a plan. Wait a minute. He's got a boomerang is what he's got. And what the referee. Anthony Ingram has found the boomerang. Fighting with Ashley Hudson. Shoved it. Wait a minute, Harris. Up oh. top. Got it. Cross body. That was it. it. Oh, come on. That was a quick count. What a victory. The referee's got something personal against Hudson. Ashley Hudson tried everything and the kitchen sink, but Chris Harris has retained the North American Heavyweight Championship. That was a hard-fought contest. That referee ought to be disbarred. Disbarred? Yeah. I think he's a member of the bar. Oh, Hudson is furious. Watch out for that boomerang. Chris Harris is your winner and still North American champion. Oh, what a big night of wrestling. Tonight, tonight, tonight. Only at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds.